Bombshell allegations rocking the state capitol. Governor Mark Dayton and several lawmakers calling on Senator Dan Schoen to resign after reports he sexually harassed women involved in state politics. MinPost first reported the accusations, ranging from persistent and unwanted invitations to meet to physically grabbing a woman from behind. Schoen is a Democrat representing St. Paul Park. He's also a police officer in Cottage Grove who's been placed on administrative leave while these allegations are investigated. Two women in coming forward now, including State Representative Aaron May Quaid and former DFL candidate Lindsey Port. Fox 9's Tom Lydon joining us now. And Tom, you sat down with May Quaid today and talked to her about all of this, and she says Schoen is not the only one. Right, and I think there are a lot of people at the Capitol who are wondering exactly where all of this will end. Erin May Quaid was sworn in only 10 months ago as a state rep, and already she's got four stories of sexual harassment. Her sexuality, in part, appears to have made her a target. She's an out married lesbian. It appears some lawmakers saw this as a kind of license to say things that she believes clearly crossed the line. Again, one of the worst kept secrets, I think, is this person being a, a serial harasser and predator. Who is that person? I, I don't know if I'm ready to say. I mean, I still have to work with these folks. These people have gavels. For State Representative Erin May Quaid, today was her moment of truth. After some hesitation, she finally named names. Um, um, Tony Cornish is, is one that is widely known. It's, again, a, the worst kept secret. Um, staffers have stories. Legislators have stories. Lobbyists have stories. Quaid says her story began walking onto the House floor in May when she saw Cornish staring at her. She waved, then he sent this text. I just got an anonymous text saying I got busted for staring at you on the House floor. Ha ha. Quaid, oh yeah? Ha. Who busted you? Cornish replies he doesn't know, then says, I told him it was your fault, of course. Looked too damn good, ha. I must be more gentlemanly when I run for governor. Quaid replies, you can always start now. Cornish told me today by phone the text is taken out of context, that it was a joke between colleagues. Do you believe you used poor judgment when making those comments? Well, you know, somebody said to me that I got busted, and so I just relayed that to her as a joke. I didn't figure I got busted for anything, but looking at somebody, there was no suggestive gestures. There was nothing said. She waved at me and I waved at her. That was it. If you have to tell people your jokes are jokes, your jokes suck. With another lawmaker, State Senator Dan Schoen, it began before she was even elected, when she was a staffer for Congressman Keith Ellison, monitoring the Jamar Clark occupation of the 4th Precinct. Schoen, a Cottage Grove cop, texted her one night to discuss the matter. He said, you know, you should come over. The door's always open. We'll have a drink. My kids aren't here. Then Schoen sent this text, apparently by accident. I almost got her, working on her pretty hard, but I almost got her. It just made my blood, like, cold. It was just, ugh. That's creepy. It's really creepy. There's more. Speaking on the House floor, she heard two other reps behind her talking. Quote, too bad she's a lesbian. I know, what a waste. Look at that body. Another time, she says a lawmaker told her, with other colleagues present, Hey, May Quaid, know what we both have in common? We both like to blank hot women. I mean, bizarre, odd, and gross, right? You must have been blown away that someone would say that. Well, who's thinking about me having sex with other women? Or, you know, well, like, that's just not something... Clearly he is. That's where we get back to the culture, right? Is that, oh, you can't take a joke. It was a joke. It was supposed to be funny. Um, we're here to do really serious work, and we should be doing that work. Representative Cornish today sent us six pages with every single text message he ever exchanged with Quaid. And it does show friendly, casual exchanges, but Quaid says that's not the point. It's the unwanted attention that's the problem. And tonight, the Star Tribune is quoting an anonymous lobbyist who says Cornish has propositioned her for sex at least 40 times over the last decade. She says she never reported the behavior because she thought it would end her career. Tom Lydon, Fox 9.